This is our newest generator. It's a 21.5 kilowatt generator. Now we've developed it this way. We've uh, tightened the coils, which you can see right here. These are the coil tighteners. We've tightened the coils to make so we can get more wire in the coil. The more wire, the more power you're gonna have. Then what we did is we moved the rotor closer to the coils. The closer you have the, the rotor to the coils, the more power you're going to make. Now, then we put, then we use N52 magnets to drive the coils uh, tighter. Now, again, we're using our new uh, green boards with the uh, special um, rectifiers. So we've got, so we've increased the speed of the, or the, uh, the, um, the coils, and then we increase the power to the coils by tightening the magnets. Now, this is how you do it. Now, you can see from the voltage, now as I spin this thing up, you can see how easily it turns. Now, we're, very, we're basically very, just spinning it very slowly, and we're already at 48 volts, which would drive a 48 volt inverter all day long. Now, as I speed it up, you can see how easily it speeds up, and we're already at 129 volts. We go up to this, we're now up, we're now running up close to 240 volts. Now the one thing that you need to, people ask me this, they say, well, what about, what about it being under load? It, there's no difference between it being under load and not under load. The difference is the torque you apply to the generator. So the, the generator will still produce the power. This is still producing the power and regardless of the load, and we have a torque meter on it back there, that's the torque meter. We modify the torque and we watch the voltage so that we can tell you what the torque is gonna be. Now the torque varies based on the load. Now what I mean by load is if you put a a, a one ohm resistor on it or a 50 ohm resistor, you've got a different load. But it, the way you change the power is by changing the torque. Now the torque is gonna be the key and this is why this thing will run and produce the power that you expect. You see how easily it goes up. Now right now, this thing is capable of a thousand volts. So we, we listed at 21.5, but it easily could be 50, 60 uh, ki uh, kilowatts simply by the power you apply to the shaft. So the more power you, the more torque you apply to the shaft, the more power this thing is gonna make. And I can tell you that I've done this for 17 years, so I've got a real good understanding of how these generators function. And this is what they do. This is why these generators have been so successful and have such high efficiency. You get way over 98% with these and we can't even publish the efficiency of these because people won't believe us. But I can tell you that it's, it's higher than you expect. And we're very thrilled with them. And this is our latest version and you can get it, it's 21.5 kilowatts is what we've rated it at, and you can get that all day long.